the one incident that did happen to me is and now my dad has had had uh, experiences but me personally the only one that happened to me was a sleep paralysis incident which a lot of people don't even consider paranormal but being in it and experiencing it i have no doubt that there is a demonic uh presence there that there is an influence there uh, just because it, it it is such a feeling of pure evil that I'd never felt before and hope to never feel again. Uh, the sleep paralysis thing, if anybody, if people aren't quite familiar with it, it's exactly what it sounds like. You wake up, but you are paralyzed. You cannot move anything. You're kind of still half asleep, which is why your body has not quite because when you're asleep and you're doing it like you have to have paralysis otherwise when you're dreaming you're going to be running all over your room and and hitting yourself or, or bruising yourself so your body has to paralyze itself while you're dreaming in order to protect you more than anything yeah. else but in sleep paralysis you're waking up but your body hasn't released the paralysis yet so you are there wide awake looking around the room and it seems like the only thing you can move are your eyes because nothing else moves you can't scream you can't roll over, you can't, you know, try and reach over to turn a light on, nothing. And so that right then and there, just by itself, is horrifying. It's, it's truly scary. But in my situation, it was that, and then I had a dark, dark, all, blacker than black presence. It was so black that you could actually feel infinity past it. It was that dark. I mean, it was. I was already in a dark room. So for it to show up in that room, it had to be even even blacker than black. Right. And I don't remember if if it actually had eyes or if I'm just projecting that onto my memory. But it did feel like it was it was lo lo looming over me, um, and it was just malevolent the whole way. It uh, and the only thing that saved me or got or snapped me out of it, I guess, for lack of better words, is again, I couldn't speak it out loud, but in my mind, I'm saying, Jesus, save me, Jesus, save me. And that's the only thing that, you know, that seemed to snap me out of it. And uh, right then and there, I was like, thank you, God, thank you. Uh, and that's never happened to me since. And uh, I, I think, in fact, I think the, the reason that it even came on me, it, because this happened after I began Weird Darkness. I think that somehow, even though I did not intend to, I kind of invited it to me because of, because of what I do. Um, I warn people constantly, don't use the Ouija boards, don't do the spirit boards, don't do the seances or go to the psychics or anything because you're opening yourself up to it. You might think that you're gonna be talking to your grandmother, but you don't know. That could be something pretending to be your grandmother. And you really don't want to risk bringing that dark force into your life because it's sure enough, it can attach to you, you know, go and take and go with you wherever you go. So I think in some strange way, me telling the stories of people who have done that, I, in a way, kind of opened that door a bit. So yeah, you've got to be, a little you bit gotta be careful. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, I have to be a bit more careful now about... Uh, not only about what I read, but also how I approach it. And, uh, and also just, you know, yeah. I hate to hate to sound religious, but stay prayed up, yeah. you know, when, when stepping into it. I did a book.